In this video I'm going to show you how to convert AC power to DC power so you can run an LED light for various applications including one on your motorcycle or dirt bike in case your dirt bike is not a DC already. For those that are watching my videos they know that this is my uh, front mask from my WR450F and the WR450F has an AC stator and has an AC light so I had to modify this one, an LED light uh, of the uh, stator. This is not a Squadron. I didn't have $400 for a Squadron. This cost me only $50. I uh, bought this one from Amazon. I'm going to put a link in the video description. This one is a 40 watt and uh, it's as powerful as a Squadron. Definitely not street legal, but it's powerful as a Squadron for $40. This is my AC adapter. I'm going to plug it in. And then I have a rectifier over here. If you're not familiar with how a rectifier works, you can find these on Amazon. I'm going to put a link in the video description. You can find these rectifiers for about $5 on Amazon, uh, shipped to your house. What they do is they convert the current from AC to DC. Uh, there are two terminals, uh, green and white in my case. They're clearly marked. Uh, these terminals are the uh, input terminals where you input the AC current and then the red and black in my case, uh, clearly marked. Uh, you will be able to get um, a direct current out instead of uh, alternating current. Hooking up the LED light directly to the source, which is an AC source, can not only burn the LED light, but also can create problems with the source. So in this is, in your case, is a motorcycle, this can create problems. Not to mention that you're going to have a flicker. I don't know if you could notice, but there is a flicker on the LED light. Right now it's connected directly to the uh, source. So I would strongly advise not to do so. A lot of people plug these things in and they saw that their LED lights on the motorcycle worked but that could create a lot of problems. So you have to rectify it properly. All the, two, all the things that you need are in the video description of the video. Just check out the video description. All the parts that you need over there are going to be available. Make sure that you have a rectified current and not direct current because that could create a lot of problems for you down the line. Uh, to be able to uh, do so, um, I've connected the green and the white to my power adapter. The power adapter is already plugged in and then right now I have direct current on this side of the, um, of the rectifier. Uh, you could run an LED light directly from it. There is only one problem that you will have to compensate for so I'm going to show you first how it runs directly from it. So I'm going to connect the black and I'm going to connect the white, the, the red, to it. So this is the light right now running um, off the uh, direct current. Now right now this light will run with no problem whatsoever, will not create any damage to your motorcycle or to your power adapter. It runs on DC power but it's not running at full power. It's because the wave conversion from AC to DC, there's always some loss of a power. Uh, the LED light cannot burn brighter uh, so what it does, it just dims and then comes back and it dims and comes back. Um, how you fix that? You could fix that with a capacitor. This is a capacitor that I have in the house. It's a 71 volt, 6800 microfarads. Um, this capacitor, what it does, is smooths up the power. So when the, the LED light drops, this capacitor will be able to keep the, uh, the current flowing uh, for a lot longer and therefore it will keep the light brighter. So uh, I'm going to connect right now the terminals. I'm sorry I have a blue terminal over here. It was supposed to be a black. It just happened that I had a, a, a blue wire uh, attached to it. But blue is black and red is red. So I'm going to attach red to the red connection. These ones are always attached in parallel. So red to red and black to black. And look at the light when, when the capacitor gets added to the system. So you see how much, uh, how much brighter it gets? Okay what it does is that it takes away the flicker so it takes away the, the down wave and then the capacitor smooths out the um, power in the um, LED light and then what it does is basically making it uh, run a lot smoother and then it smooths out the power and therefore the, the light stays and run at full capacity a lot brighter than before it's a floodlight 18 watts okay I was very proud of this one I was going riding with this one I was very very happy but then I bought a 40 watt spotlight how you feel about that? Way further, way stronger. Look, like illuminates like nothing. It's absolutely insane. It's thirty-eight dollars. I'm gonna put the uh, link in the subscript in the description of the video. You're gonna see the, the description of the video is gonna have all the information about this product. But it's absolutely insane. I just can't believe how strong this thing is.
So thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you uh, figure out things. Remember, most of the dirt bikes have alternating current. Most of the dirt bikes don't have a strong enough stator. Those are things that you have to keep under consideration when you're installing LED lights on your dirt bike. So you have to have a strong enough stator. So if you're putting a 40 watt LED light, don't put it on a 40 watt LED on a 40 watt stator. It's not gonna work that way. You're gonna need at least double to what your dirt bike has. So most of the WR models have YZs don't. So on a YZs, you're gonna need a, uh, an upgraded stator. Also, if you have a uh, SX dirt bike from a motocross version of a um, KTM, that one won't have it. But the, uh, dub, the, the XC or EXC, those most likely do. So keep in mind that those are the things that you have to know before you install it. Thank you very much for watching. Vegas Romaniac out.